one thing that I can tell you for sure is that from the very beginning, we knew we wanted to make this as, as a co-production with China. That means that that would have given us the, the, the ability to shoot in China, and it would give us the ability to release the film in China. That being the case, um, satisfying the notes of our Chinese investors as well as our American investors just became a necessity. And, um, and you know, on our, on our budget, we couldn't do two versions of the movie either. We had to do one version of the movie that would satisfy both countries. And it was very difficult. But, uh, you know, it's part of the, part of the um, process of making a film is just satisfying a lot of different parties. And uh, it, it, was, it was definitely challenging, but um, I think that we found a way to, to make a film that's funny and charming and um, really enticing to both, to both audiences. Um, for me personally, why Shanghai? I guess, um, first of all, it, uh, you, you mentioned Hong Kong. I also think that Hong Kong is a very gorgeous place, but it's just, you've seen it a lot in films. Uh, actually, you know, Hong Kong cinema is actually legendary um, among Asian cinephiles here in the U.S., um, whereas modern Shanghai hasn't really been delved into. They, no one has really turned Shanghai into a character. Uh, in the film, and that's what we've that's what we've done here. And the, the probably the biggest compliment I've got from one of our one of our um, sales team members, who, you know, this, it's a guy who's been working in movies for 20, 30 years. And uh, after screening it, he said, "Wow, you turned Shanghai into a character in the film, and that's something really hard to do." And um, uh, and that's, you know, it's just such a cinematic city, so colorful, so many different types of architecture there, um, just really, really fun to shoot. And um, yeah, that's, those are the reasons that, uh, primarily why I, why I wanted to shoot in Shanghai. Yeah. The casting process uh, was, I was very involved. Janet Yang, the producer, and I were both very involved in the casting process. And um, we, actually, um, uh, we actually looked first, um, we asked our Chinese partners first to give us their ideas of who they wanted. And they actually gave us a bunch of uh, Chinese and Hong Kong actors. And um, so we, we actually did try to pursue that route at the beginning. But what we, what we discovered is that there's no such thing as a low-budget independent movie in China that a, that a big star will do just because he likes the project. Even even if you don't have any money, he will, you know they, they're going to say like, well, I used to have to pay me my regular fee. Um, whereas here in the U.S. and the American actors' standpoint is, sure, I could make you know a million dollars doing this one project, or I could take scale and work on this other project that I really, really like, and I like the script, and I like the people, and that was the great thing about um, Daniel when we, when we met him. I mean, he could, he, could, he could have spent this past year working on uh, like two or three Korean TV series or something like that, but instead he really, he loved the script, and he responded to us, and we, we, we hit it off in the meeting, and he said, you know, I, I want to do this movie. I want to I want to work really hard and uh, be basically in every scene in this film and uh, and uh, and have it be a meaningful experience. And I think that you know we we created something that all of us, including Daniel, can be very proud of. The reaction has been very good. Um, we you're right. We had a world premiere uh, at the Newport Beach Film Festival at closing night. And uh, I mean, this is it's a it's it's a very mainstream festival. And uh, we were you know, I was certainly a little bit nervous because this was the first public screening. Um, you know, a lot of these people, maybe they don't have any knowledge of China, maybe they have never even traveled abroad. I had, I had no idea what this audience was going to be like and how they were going to respond. And then the movie ended, the credits came up, and everyone was applauding. And we went up there, and people wanted it, people stayed for the Q&A, and they asked lots of questions. And then we went out to the after party, and people just kept coming up to us and telling us, I really love this film, you make Shanghai look gorgeous, I, I really want to go to Shanghai. Now, I've never been to China, now I want to go to Shanghai. And, um, and, you know, they're, they're complimenting the performances and the cinematography, and we feel so fortunate that, you know, audiences are responding to this film. And, and also, last night at the uh, LA Asian Pacific Film Festival, the audience was also very receptive and very similar response. Um, the funny thing is to see where uh, a predominantly Asian American audience laughs um, and versus a predominantly, you know, a very mainstream audience uh, laughs. The laughs just come in different places. The laughs are all, Plenty. There are plenty of laughs, but sometimes the laughs come in different places, either because an Asian audience is familiar with a family-style restaurant where you sit down, and other pe of course other people are going to be sitting next to you. And so that laugh actually comes uh, sooner for them than it does for, you know, than it did in Newport, where it took a couple of times to get, you know, people sitting at that, at that restaurant table with Daniel to, uh, uh, to get the laugh going. You started screening in China? Uh, we held two private screenings in China. And then um, there may be some festival dates coming up in China and then uh, a release date hopefully coming up very soon.